Okay, World yeah, champion. Yeah, a few minutes. Yeah. Mary Vance is not. You're not getting me crying this time. <laughs> How are you feeling? I am feeling excited. I'm overwhelmed. I'm overjoyed. It's like it's it's un, it's an unbelievable feeling. I couldn't control my feelings when I got off the mat and it took about like 30 minutes, but I finally calmed down and I'm so excited. Why? Why couldn't huh? you control your because last year I fell short and I knew I was capable of more and this year I proved it to not only myself but to everyone who already had believed in me and the fact that it happened, like, oh my gosh, I, I let go and let God, he did all the work, I just let the training do its thing and look where it got me! <laughs> it's when, awesome! <laughs> when did you know this was possible? When did you believe it was possible? After I lost last year, after I lost and I got, I took third last year, I told myself, I can beat anyone. And then I would forget, and then Terry and Izzy would be like, you can beat anyone when you set your mind to it. And before every single match, they had to remind me over and over and over again, too much stuff, too many singles, too much stamina, too much speed. Those are my initials, TMS. And they just kept reminding me, I'm like, you're right, you're right. And I'd go out there, and I'd do it. You said that last night that before the semis, you're in the back freaking out, you were nervous, and flipping the switch was yes. it similar before the finals? Yes, it was. I had to not think about the fact that it was a finals match, and this was my first world championships where I was in the finals. I had to not think about that. I had to remember, hey, this is a match. You're just going out there and wrestle. Terry, Izzy said, hey, just go wrestle. <laughs> just pretend like it's two matches. Pretend like it's final X. You got one person, two matches. Go. So I broke down the periods. One period, second period. And it worked. Second period is a little interesting. You, you, she comes out and tries to throw you. She yeah. Throw you. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get... I, I kind of... I, she got two. I was a little confused. I was going to say, challenge it! And I was like, never mind. <laughs> it was like afterthought. But I saw she got two, and I, I've been trained to not get thrown. So when I felt that, I fought literally with all my heart. I was like, don't give up. Get your head through. And then I made it on top, and I got the one, and it was, it was awesome. You hurt your knee early in the tournament? Against Nigeria, against Blessing, yeah. And I've been like trying to say, "Oh, you're not hurt." But I'm like, "Oh, ow, you're not hurt." So it's it's been it's been a struggle. When I got back uh, today, like sleeping, it was it was painful, but I fought through it. It's nothing. But then she she kind of tweaked it in the match just now, and I was like, "Oh, dang it, it's nothing." Nope, I need time. <laughs> I didn't want to walk in limping. I wasn't ready, and I'm told that you can take the time to come back and recuperate so I did and it, I was better for it so speaking of injuries on that first takedown you got kicked in the head oh my god okay yeah muscle memory took a hold because I don't even know how I kept the leg I was just like did I just get kicked what <laughs> I didn't even go to like any turns but it's okay um came I came back on top and just just kind of like oh you need to gather your thoughts again my face actually hurts right now Smelling, impact, all of it. <laughs> it's okay. Because I won. <laughs> yes. Does winning give you confidence going forward? If you're lacking a little bit, do you have to sum it up? Um, winning does give me confidence. It does. But I know that I still have a lot of work to do. Like, there were some mistakes that were made out there, and my game plan is to go out there and just get better from here. And that's what I plan on doing. But I believe in myself a lot more. And I thank all the supporters who've been there. I thank Maya Nelson. It's her birthday today, you guys. It is her birthday. Happy birthday, Maya. <laughs> so that's my birthday gift to her, as well as I got some stuff in the mail for her. She doesn't know what it is, but I did. But yeah, I am definitely confident, and I'll still keep working on stuff. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. What about the Tokyo Olympics? What do you think about it? Have you been to Tokyo before? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we went uh, for brain fart. Uh, <laughs> we, okay, we, were in, we were in Japan a few months ago for a training camp. And we were also in Japan for, what was that? The, um, the team. Yeah, 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 that. Yes, yeah, 
Yeah, and that was that was awesome. I am an anime fan, so I love it. I, I am so excited. Like it's yeah. it's awesome. Talk about Tokyo Olympics. Uh, um, Tokyo Olympics. I am ecstatic. I don't know what's gonna happen, but I know I'm gonna have to fight with all my heart, more so than, than what I did today. And. I cannot wait. So I am going to 2020 Tokyo Olympics. I, you were gonna see me on that mat. I'm wrestling. 2016, I, I fell short. But I am going to be an Olympian. Yeah. I, I'm excited. Cool. I'm excited. I'm having yes. qualified the spot for the US. This yes. Time. yes. Does that relieve some pressure? Kind of with that mini. 2016 experience in the back of your mind? Yeah, it, there wasn't really pressure, it was more just like fear because I, I had fell short, but I kept saying, Samira, you have way more experience than you did back then. You have to believe in yourself. So it's, it's more like some fear has been alleviated. <laughs> and I'm excited! <laughs> I, meant, I mentioned this before, um, two years ago, you, you lost and you, it took it hard. You took yeah. it real hard. You looked the yeah. same, but the emotions were different, right? <laughs> Seriously, like, like yeah, you, yes. you were really hurt. Yeah, um, yes. What, did that? Did you have to go through that to get here? Yeah, yeah. Because honestly, I wouldn't have um, appreciated it as much if I hadn't gone through that. I probably would have took advantage of the fact that, oh yeah, I'm the best in the world. But now I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm going on the Wall of Champions at the Olympic Training Center. I am the best in the world. And it took so much tears, blood, sweat to get here. And I honestly cannot tell you how much I just appreciate it. Like, it's... It's a sense of relief that I was actually even able to accomplish this. And I literally, it was, God was just flowing through me. So I, I'm mad. <laughs> it's amazing. Wow. <laughs> I got a drink. I'm, sorry. I'm good here. Anybody else? We're good. Congratulations.